Hey, welcome everybody. Doug at DougBaleEnterprises.com Getting ready to relocate. We are uh, putting up a new facility and we have actually ordered some new parts bins, some new shelving. Prepare ourselves for the onslaught of business here. Before I delve into today's topic, this uh, this gets under a lot of people's skin, but you know what? It's a topic that I like speaking of because I put a lot of people in business with very small bankrolls. And by that I mean guys that maybe only have a thousand bucks and they have a couple of spots lined up. Maybe their friends own repair shops or little, you know, blue collar businesses, but they don't have money for a a $1,495 Dixie Narco 501E that sells energy drinks and Gatorade bottles. Um, so if the location has said, yeah, 12 ounce cans, that's all my guys want. Um, this is about single price soda machines. They are readily available. 50, 100 bucks. If they cool, that's an awesome deal. Don't worry about the coinage. Don't worry about the funky old coin mech and the old Maka validator or maybe a coin co or maybe it's just a blank slot. Now, most of the single price machines, not all, made in the 80s, have a slot, have a cutout for the validator. If they don't, you're still not out of luck. I see people posting these in the groups and they say, where can I mount the validator? Well, Usually, in the very top right corner, there's a spot. Um, and this little picture frame mount I'm holding is just the reason, well, it's just the, uh, what you need. See? You've got the front bezel to your MEI. Don't even, don't even mess with putting a coin go in there. So you'll just, you'll want to cut yourself. So anyways, go MEI. It's a couple bucks more. They fit right here, and that covers up the hole nicely. We call it the four inch opening. Um, takes a little bit of skill. You'll have to drill four holes for the mounts. Um, on the picture frame, you see the studs there. And then you will also have to cut out with some kind of a metal uh, reciprocating saw. If you can't do it yourself, you may have somebody in the family that's skilled, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not a five-minute install. It's more like a 30-minute install. So what I have here, guys, let me get to the bench, is I have the components that are needed to do this task, and I'm going to go over them. The reason I thought about doing this video on this topic is, other than my American Changer conversion kits, this is my best-selling kit. What you get here is you get a coin co, yep, a coin co, or let me show you the MEI, or we used to call them Mars, and yes, the Mars company was actually owned by the same people as Ethel M. Chocolate back in the day. So, anyways, either one of these is okay. The secret is, and I'm not going to unwrap this because I'm getting ready to ship it to a customer, but... Do you see this plug? And it's going to be easier to show you on the coin co. If you're Mars, the black coin neck with the, the cream color sides, some of them have these harnesses, some of them don't. Okay, if you don't, you're, not, you're going to have to get a coin mech. See that plug? This one. That's a 12 pin plug, and it's a 3 by 2 configuration. Let me zero in a little bit here. You have to have this, and I'll tell you why. The conversion harness that goes into the side of your MEI looks like this. That's one end. This is the other end. This is for a 110 volt unit. Okay. Some people still have 24. Uh, pardon me, 2400 series. This is a little bit of an upgrade. This is a 2500 series. Um, even though this one is on new fives, you can put this in a single price machine. I don't recommend it because you're running a three tube coin mech that only holds 18 or $20 depending on the model in quarters. So if you sold 
four in a row cans of Coke for a dollar, you're going to give back in four sales uh, $16 worth of change and you're going to soon be out of change. Now some people do it you know where they want to take a five they don't they don't have a change problem guys maybe at the small business know that quarters are best you know if you can use them now while we're on this topic some single price machines this box is a 300 note box well to fill that up in a single price machine you'd have to have a a 440 Dixie Narco and it would almost have to go empty but the problem is some doors don't shut on the older machines they don't have clearance so we always have in stock the smaller boxes this is a 200 note box and this is kind of convenient because in some instances you have a hard time getting this box out because it has to go up first and maybe there's not a lot of clearance to get your hand in there but it has a flap door okay all you have to do is pull back the stacker and pull the bills out so all right without further ado let's set this little conversion up and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it plug and play now I'm going to set this mech aside because I have one on my test jig that already has nickels and dimes in it and it's already plugged in so all right what you do is this is my test unit see those pins those two little white pins well, I know holding it this way, they go to the right because there's a couple blank spaces on the pins, which you're not expected to see here. Do not force the plug. It'll fit in, and then you just go the last eighth inch. Do not force it. You'll bend those pins over, and then you'll be, you'll be up against having to repair those pins. Now, here's our three by four plug here's our live coin mech which has the plug here coinciding and yes you can plug in this 110 volt stuff it's not gonna hurt a thing don't ever do it on a 24 volt system or a dummy mech or an MDB mech this is really the only one um, so if you're in question unplug the stuff but I know it's not gonna blow anything up my my tester is protected anyway so what we have now you see our flashing lights I hope it's ready to take money now to show the coin mech is going to give change I have this one set on 75 cents on my test jig okay take a dollar one quarter came out you could kind of see it down here Now the problem is if we put a five in now it would empty the tube and that would be it so anyways guys at the time of this taping prices always go up this three-piece unit which consists of a rebuilt coin mech with a one-year warranty the conversion cable which I have hooked up here and a 25 X1 or 25 11 as we call them MEI validator again rebuilt one year warranty um, this snout or bezel front piece whatever you want to call it this is a number one this is what we call a compact a soda or a number one there's also a number zero which fit in mainly snack machines however occasionally a soda machine but rarely the best way if you're going to make this conversion is you buy the kit the three pieces if you need to drill your own hole you get this and then if you mount it in the door and there's something down here like a shelf a plate inside well this is the this is the validator bezel for you okay once again that is a number one here's another handy piece it's cheap it's almost free this is a block off plate if you have a bunch of machines out there and occasionally you have an issue with a validator and if you don't have the spare with you I encourage you to carry one of these block off plates the simple fact is if you've got to remove your validator you're gonna sure wish you had one of these the four studs they line up with uh, what's on your door this is just like putting a blank plate in front of your machine so the customers can't reach in 
I've come across a lot of soda machines in my day and they have a piece of cardboard taped in there. Guys, that's going to last about till the first guy that's maybe not so honest. He's going to push that in and reach in there. He probably can't get to anything, but he can certainly cause some damage. So, guys, what I'll do is I'll put the link to this kit once again at the taping of this. It's $199. Both components, including the harness, have a one-year warranty. Kind of hard to go wrong. So if you're on a budget, you're going to start in a vending business. Single-price machines, they're built like tanks. People laugh at me all the time, but in the 80s, machines were really built well. They've only gotten cheaper as the years have gone by. And now the stuff that's coming out is just really tinny, very soft, very thin metals they're not the same as they used to be and and we all know why it's to save money so guys for now appreciate you being here doug at doug's world tour and the vending channel best thing you can do for me is subscribe doug out